Hello and welcome. Happy holidays. It is 8.30. It is the 15th day <clears throat> of December 2021. It is a bright, shiny, and cold morning here in Ventura, California. The atmospheric river is taking a break, but we're expecting more rain later on, just in time for Christmas. But don't worry, boys and girls, Santa will still bring you your presents no matter what's going on. And speaking of presents, it's time to take a look at the crowdfunding news of the week. All the following crowdfunding projects are coming to an end, so if you haven't had a chance to support them, now is your chance. But, as we have already discussed several times in the past couple days, just because you give them money, it's not a guarantee for anything, and they don't have to give you the money back. Or give you the stuff that you paid for, because if they decide to, as we are discovering that they can't fulfill the promises of the Kickstarter, well, I mean, there are some people out there who are waiting for Kickstarter fulfillments from Kickstarters they kickstarted in 2014. So, yeah. Support any of these that sound interesting, but always be careful. So, Free League, from Free League Publishing, we have the Vassin RPG, Mythic, Britain, and Ireland. This is for the Year Zero engine. It's a source book. For the Vassin RPG, which is Scandinavian fantasy horror, uh, the most popular pledge for this is 598 sec. I I assume that's Norwegian free league money. I don't know what 598 is in dollars. Uh, so let's gonna fight 50 bucks. I'm, I'm assuming. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Apparently, there have already been complaints about this product, though, that there's not enough warnings on it. Apparently, it is dark and very disturbing. And some people have said, you didn't put enough warnings on it. It's not a safe game. Aaron the Pendantic did a video about the complaints that Vastin doesn't have enough content warning on it and should have more. You can check that out over on his channel. Link down below. But if you want to support... The Vassin RPG Nordic Horror setting, there is another source book available to you that you can kickstart. From the Oracle, we have Fantasy Event Calendar 2021. This is an RPG accessory. $16 is the most popular pledge. And it's a digital event, event calendar for 2021. Uh, Christmas is in... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... 10, 11 days. So, yeah, that's totally pointless. Uh, you want an 11-day advent calendar? Or, uh, yeah, $16 for a digital... I mean, you don't even get chocolate. Yeah, no, ignore that one. From Scoundrel Game Labs, we have Fae Encounters for Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition. This is a source book. $15 is the most popular pledge. And you need... You get 60-plus encounters for the Fray Realm. Obviously, this product is trying to coattail off of uh, Witchlight, which, and I guess maybe also Strixhaven. Things like this always happen. Somebody, does, you know, Wizards of the Coast does a D&D book about oatmeal, and then days later you see that every other book company is doing support books about oatmeal. So this is obviously trying to coattail off of Witchlight, which hasn't sold very well. And Strixhaven, which so far isn't so selling very well. So, yeah, another one to ignore. From Arcane Goods, we have Wild Sh Shaped Decks and Expansion. This is a Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition accessory. It's $35 is the most popular pledge. It's basically enhancements for the Druid class, as well as rules for all the animals that they can wild shape into. Yeah, ignore that one, too. From... And I... Apologize if I mispronounce any of this. We have Dear Mr. Tank Cop from Pontus, Pontus Bjorlin. P-O-N-T-U-S, first word. B-J-O-R-L-I-N. The, the O has those little dots above it, so it's Pontus Bjorlin. This is for a game called Altynyc88. Alt, Alt, Alt New York 88. It's an adventure module. Uh, Twenty-five dollars uh, is the most popular pledge. If you're looking for a game night where everyone wears card cardboard 
glasses and plays kitschy RPG, this is likely the fit for you. This product has you have to see. Uh, wait, what? Uh, it's in 3D, so that's why you have the glasses. Uh, uh, I don't understand any of this. So it's a role-playing game about having a game night where you play role-playing games. And I guess it's trying to milk Axe Cop by calling itself Tank Cop? And I don't know what ALTNY C88 is. The best thing I can come up with is it's Alt New York City 88. I've never heard of this game system. Has anybody? Uh, so, yeah, it comes with a 3D glasses, so you can only see some aspects of the rules, but not others. It's a role playing game about having a game night where you choose which role playing game to play, is from what I can get from this. Yeah, ignore that one. From Anthony Quackenbush, Q-U-A-L-K-I-N-B-U-S-H. We have Riddle House, Volume 1, Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition. This is an adventure module. $5 is the most popular pledge. It's a series of one-shots for D&D. $5? Sure. From Exploring Map, one word, X-P-L-O-R-I-N-G-M-A-P, we have hand-drawn tabletop maps for D&D or any RPG. This is a series of RPG maps. The most popular pledge is $1. For $1, you get five dungeon maps. Five maps for a dollar, and that's nice. Of course, you can also get billions of maps free online. And that appears to be it for the crowdfunding products for this week. Uh, they all sound kind of sucky this week. I, I, there's nothing on here I can really support except for maybe the $5 adventure module. Um, I mean, hand-drawn tabletop maps, five maps for a, do for a dollar. That's nice, but I can get hand-drawn tabletop maps for D&D free online and then just print them out or i don't even have to print them out i can just keep them on my phone i mean yeah of course it would probably cost more to print them out than it would to get these five but still yeah why give you a dollar um the riddle house five five one shot adventures for five dollars that's fun that's be good i don't even know what dear mr tank top is it makes absolutely no sense so yeah um wild shape deck yeah nope Fey Encounters? Nope. Uh, Welcome to Riven Mart, the Avant Calendar for 2021 when 2021 is almost over? Nope. And Vassin, Nordic Horror Supporting Free League, I've, though there I have heard complaints about this one. So, yeah, no, there's, I'm sorry, there's really nothing I could say to support this week, but do support your friendly local game store. That's Sess Games Anime here in Ventura. If any of these products sound like something you want to support, or if you just want to know what's going on in the tabletop role-playing game world, head on down to your friendly local game store. That's Sess Games and Anime here in Ventura and ask them what's going on. And if you live in Southern California and you want to get some gaming, come game with us at Sess Games and Anime in Ventura in 2022. We really want to get the tabletop role-playing game community going. Uh, so that's about it for this week. Or you could just, instead of kickstarting these, support me by subscribing to my vlog and helping me hit 1,000 subs by the end of the year. It's free. It only takes two seconds. And it's nonstop holiday fun. Till next time, I am your guide to all the tabletop role-playing game news, weather, sports, and general internet nonsense. I may slur and garble my words, but still, I have words to garble. See ya, da 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 da, da Frosty the Snowman.